going to show you how to set up step by step the new Nintendo Switch OLED. Okay, it doesn't matter if you have the white Joy Cons or the neon blue and red ones. Now, out of the box, you get a pamphlet here, you get a docking station here, and you would be able to slide the screen in there. If you look at this right here, this back plate just pops off, and you have ports here, your AC adapter, HDMI out as well as your LAN, basically your Ethernet if you don't want to use Wi-Fi, okay? Also, you have two USB ports on the side of the dock. Next is the screen itself. And we can see we have several ports and buttons here. Now on the top here, you have the power button. Over here is the volume up and down rockers. And right here, this is for your game card. If you guys are going to use a game card, most of you guys will be downloading the, game, the games online. However, just remember, if you have a game cartridge, in order to pop this out, what you have to do is pop the back first. Pop the back first, and now grab one of these corners here and just move it back, okay? So I can go ahead and I'll just go over here and just move it back like that and spring load it when you put your game in there, okay? And underneath here, you have a charging port right here, which you would plug that into. Now also note that if you want to charge it, not directly from the screen itself, but from using the dock, your AC adapter is here, okay? So again, this would go into here. Now if we look on the back here, you can see that we have a stand right here. You have a stand. You can go ahead and put that on like that. Also take note, if you need a SD card, if you need to expand your storage, if you have too many games or whatnot, your SD card goes in here, okay? Now to turn this off or on, if you want to turn it off when it's on, what you want to do with the power button, you want to press and hold it for about eight seconds. So just keep holding on to the power button until the screen turns black. So I'm holding on to the power button here, waiting for the screen to turn black, and there you go. Now to turn it on, just tap the power button once, and it should go ahead and pop on. Now we have some uh, Joy-Con controllers right here. Plus side goes to the right, the minus to the left, okay? So these are very easy. This is the front right here. What you can do to slide these on is, you see the little grooves right there? Just put it in there and it's really easy. Just go ahead and slide it down, all the way down. Now take note, when you want to take it off, it doesn't slide out automatically, it's locked. What you need to do is go ahead and press this button right here on the back. Just press it and then slide it up, like that. Now also we have these straps that are optional too. So for instance, now with these straps here, you can see a plus sign, minus sign, but also on the other side is the opposite. Okay, now it's minus here, it's plus there. Okay, now you can put these on either which way you want. So for instance, this one here with the, uh, the minus sign, I can go ahead and slide this in like this. Okay, now this is kind of tricky. If you want to go ahead and take this out, if you press this button and try to lift it up, it's not going to work if you have this bottom part here locked. Okay, so this is locked when this is upwards. Okay, if it's, if it's up, it's not going to come out when you're pressing the button. What you need to do is unlock it first. So press this little part down like that. Now go ahead and press that little button on the back and now go ahead and slide it up like that. Now also what you can do is, you see we had it on this one, this controller here. It doesn't matter. We can put it on this controller here. We'll turn it over and now you can see the plus and the plus there. Okay. Same thing with this one here as well. Okay. And again, we have the power adapter with the USB-C here. We have a HDMI cable here that we'll need to hook up to the TV and you have your grip here and this one's pretty self-explanatory. This one here, what you got to do is just slide it in like that. As you can see, if you want to release it, you just go ahead and press just the black button here. Just press the black button there and just go ahead and slide this up like that. So first thing is first, go ahead and turn your Nintendo Switch on. You can just tap on the power button, wait for it to boot up. You should get the screen right away. From here, we're going to go ahead and attach, attach the um, Joy-Con controllers, okay? So plus size on the right here. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this into the groove right there. Lock it in place. I'm going to get the other one here. See the grooves right there? We're going to slide it into this little slider. Make sure it's locked. You heard that click. And now we're going to go ahead and use the screen on here for now. First thing is choose your language. You can use the controllers here. You can go ahead and move around or you can use the right side here. It doesn't matter. Or you can use the screen. Okay, we can tap on English here. Region, I'm in the Americas here. So I'm going to go to Americas right there. Also on the right Joy-Con here, you have the letter A. 
that is to select or OK, and B is to go back. So for instance, I'm up here, view end user license agreement. If you want to view it, it's already highlighted, OK? You can see it's highlighted. If you want to view it, tap on OK or select here the letter A. And if you wanted to go back, you just press the letter B, OK? And we can go down here. You can go ahead and read that. And then once you want to accept it, make sure you tap on Accept and click on Next. We must accept to proceed. Searching for networks here. I'm going to hook this one up to my Wi-Fi network. And my Wi-Fi network is right here. I'm going to go ahead and put in my, my password now. After you put in your password, you want to go down to OK. You can use the controller here. doesn't matter. You can go down there and then click the letter A to select it, or you can just go ahead and tap on OK. Successfully connected. I'm going to tap on OK. Select your time zone. I'm in LA here, so I'm going to tap right there. Now it says, would you like to connect to a TV and play on a larger screen? You can go ahead and tap on connect to TV. We can do it now. Or you can go ahead and do it later if you wish, okay? But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and connect to the TV now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off or detach the Joy-Con controllers. So we're going to go ahead and remove these. Make sure you don't press any buttons when we go ahead and remove these, okay? So remember, press the button up here. And then what you want to do is just slide it up like that. And the same thing with this one here. Don't touch no buttons, but the, except for the button on the back. Press the button on the back. And we can go ahead and slide that up just like that. Now let me just stand this up. Let me just, you don't have to do this, but let me just stand it up here so you guys can see it. Now we still have to use the uh, Joy-Con controller, so you want to hold them like this. You want to be able to move around using the left stick here. And to select it, we're going to use the letter A, okay? So what we're going to do here is click on next. You can tap there, we can tap the letter A. It's already highlighted as you can see, so I'm going to tap the letter A over here. Now the next thing is we're going to need the dock, HDMI cable, and the AC adapter right here. So from here, we're just going to go ahead and click on Next. You can tap there or you can tap the letter A here. I'm going to go to Next. Next thing we're going to do is connect the cables to the back of the dock. So again, go ahead and grab your dock. The front is here, okay? The back is here where this plate is. What we want to do is just go ahead and pull this plate off. And we have AC adapter here and HDMI out right here. So let's go ahead and plug the HDMI cable in first. Next is the AC adapter. And we're going to slide it into where it says AC adapter, just like that. We're going to put the cables in that little hole right there. We're not going to be using a LAN or Ethernet cable, okay? We're using strictly Wi-Fi. Now just make sure the cables are going through that hole right there. And we're going to slide the bottom part in first. Slide the bottom part in, and then let's go ahead and pop the top part in place, just like that. The cables are through the hole. And then the next thing we're going to tap on next right here. Next, we're going to connect the dock via HDMI port to your TV, or it could be a computer monitor as long as it has a HDMI port. I'm going to grab the other side of my HDMI cable. I'm going to put that on the back of my TV here, like that. Next, grab the AC adapter that's connected to the dock, and we want to put it into a socket. And on the screen itself here, uh, we already connected to the dock, HDMI to the TV, and the AC adapter to a outlet. We're going to tap on next right here. Next thing is we want to go ahead and turn the TV on. And then from here, you want to select the correct, correct uh, input or source, correct HDMI 1, 2, or 3, okay? So mine, I think it's on HDMI 3. Let me click on OK that on my TV. Next, I'm going to put the screen into the dock. I'm going to make sure that this is closed. Now this is the back of it, of the uh, the docking station, okay? So what I want to do is turn it frontwards like this. And I'm going to put the screen in just like this, okay? Let's put it right inside there, just like that. Wait one second, and we should see something on the TV here. Okay, so you should see this on the TV now. You're not able to see the Nintendo Switch screen. Take note, everything is on the TV now. Go ahead and grab your Joy-Con controllers. Now we can see this image here, so we're going to go success. So use the left one here. We're going to go up to success, and we're going to select it. Press the letter A. Add a user. Tap on A. Add a user. So from here, you can create a new user, or you can import user data from another console if you have another console, okay? Most of you guys are probably going to just create a uh, new user. So I'm going to go highlight new user. I'm going to click on the letter A. Now select the icon, basically your avatar. You can go ahead and through these. But what I would recommend is just go down here where it says more options. 
click on that and you just have tons more options okay so here's the character me you can go ahead and click on that and you have tons of options here let me just go back really fast and click on the B and you can also change the um, the background color as well as you can see okay so let me just go back here let me go back up to the character me let me select that again so you have a lot of different characters that you can choose on here but you can always go down to me if you just keep going all the way down highlight me right there and click on the letter a and then from here we have three things that we can do we can start from scratch we can choose a look-alike or we can copy the me so for this video i'll just go and choose a look-alike select letter a are you male or female i'm going to go with male here and then you want to go ahead and choose a look-alike here I don't know I'll just pick this one here and there's tons of things that you can do here go ahead and click on next and you can change like the face here you know you have you have different uh, different shapes of face here let me go and uh, of course up here too you have other things that you can change as well let me go back here you can change like eyebrows nose facial hair let me click the letter a here and you can go ahead and choose a little mustache there you can put a beard and then you can move over here you can go to position you can go down you can move the mustache up or down make it bigger smaller I can go back up you can go ahead and change the color oops go here you can change the color if you want a black right there and you can go back again you can go ahead and change more things around as you wish and once you're done go ahead and go down here and uh, click on done Right there and then from here go ahead and give yourself a nickname I'm just going to choose something bogus I'll go at 555 and let me go down here go to OK you can scroll down to OK or you can click on the plus sign right here on this side then from here you can change the facial expression a change pose and so on okay so if I want it just like this I can just go ahead and go down to OK and then from here I mean I'm done with this I'm gonna go down to OK so my user has now been added. Let me click on OK. Now it says you can now link a Nintendo account. With a linked account, you can access online play, friend features, Nintendo eShop, and more. Okay, I would advise go ahead and do this now, but for me, I'm going to do mine later. So I'm just go down to later right there. And from here, you can go ahead and add another user if you wish, or if you're done with this, you can just go down to skip. About Nintendo Switch Online, Nintendo Switch is a membership that grants you access to a variety of services for Nintendo Switch system with online play, the save data cloud, and more. If you want to go ahead and check those out, you can go right there, what the service includes. If not, we can go down to next, click on letter A. Parental controls, if you have a child that's going to be using this, you can go ahead and limit like their screen time, what they can purchase and not purchase, and what they can play and so on, okay? But for me, I don't need it. I'm going to go down to skip. Setup is now complete. Go ahead and click on the home button on the right hand Joy-Con. Home button right here. Just click on that right there. And voila. Okay, so we're done from here, but you can leave it on TV and you can go through the news, album, all the um, system settings and so on. Or if you just want to go through it just from the screen itself, we can just go ahead and pull this out just like this. So from here again, you got news, Nintendo eShop, album, controllers, you have your system settings here and you have sleep mode here if we go to system settings really quickly tap it once we're going to tap it again and you can see you got airplane mode screen brightness you can change the parental controls again you have internet on there your users themes notifications sleep mode controller and sensors you have system down here and above it is tv settings if i tap on tv settings if you're going to be playing it on the tv you can change tv resolution automatic all, all the way down to 1080p your RGB range right here is a just screen side you can tap on that we have to have it in the dock but you'll be able to change the ratio if it's too big on the TV or too small you can make it perfect on every corner and just scrolling down here we also have TV sound here you can tap that down there you can go with automatic surround sound stereo or mono okay so pretty simple any uh, questions or issues just comment below all right good luck guys bye